You might recall that when I said to create a Django app, when you do that, you wanna keep as much about that app inside of that app or that components directory, right? When you do this, you make things nice and simple so you can use that app in other projects. That's often the goal. I mean, if you make a really, really good blog app, for example, you can reuse that over and over again or even release it as a third-party package that other people can use as well. So if you end up doing that, then that means that you're gonna have to do additional configuration for it. Now, this gives us a really good opportunity to talk about templates in that context. So I've purposely left this out because I wanted to show you how to render out some data about that app first and then move the templates around. Now, inside of our apps, we can actually put a new folder in here called templates. So inside of the sub app, you can have a new folder in here called templates and you can do things inside of that. We can make a new another new folder in there. That new folder is gonna be the name of our app. So just like in this templates, we did products detail, we would do that same thing here. And in fact, we would name it exactly like our app. In, in my case, I did product first. So I'm gonna name it to products and then we will call this product underscore detail dot HTML. So we've changed a couple things about our template. I will copy and paste that entire template itself, bring that in because we will see some difference. So I'm gonna just call this one in app template with that title there. All this is for is illustrating the difference and understanding how Django looks up templates themselves. So we save this and in our view, I'm gonna change this to products detail. Not the exact thing because I wanna show you something. You can jump ahead and go to the exact same, but I wanna show you something. So if I save that, um, what's gonna happen is I render this page out and I get an error saying template does not exist. So this is actually pretty important to understand because a lot of times you put templates in the wrong place or you have a spelling error or something like that. This allows me to see what's going on. And we've got this temper, uh, template loader is showing me how it's actually loading my templates. So the first thing that it looks for is the file system loader. This right here, believe it or not, comes from one of our settings. So if we go into that main configuration settings and where we actually set up this template DIRS, that's what that is. That's all that is. So if I had actually written out the path to that, that would show up. So if you were on the wrong system, you would see the wrong path here, right? Thus, we make it like this. The next thing is you'll see a few other places where it's looking. It's looking in Django, uh, site packages, contrib, admin, templates, products, detail. It's looking inside of the admin app that's built into Django. And then finally, it makes it its way down to the actual app loader. So it looks inside of our own app, inside of products, templates, products, detail. Of course, that's not the actual name. The name that we changed it to was product underscore detail. So if I save that and refresh, everything looks good but let's keep it as product detail for just a moment and just uncover how cool this actually is. So we're gonna actually look at the Django package itself inside of our project. Now do keep in mind that we do not wanna change anything in here. We're just looking at it for illustration purposes only. So we go into lib, Python 3.6, site packages, Django, the, just the single Django, not anything else. And then, what, I mean, if we trace back what's going on, we see contrib admin templates. So contrib admin templates. And here are other templates. Actually, let's look at this admin app itself. This is actually not a whole lot different than what we have. There's certainly more things there than what we have because we're still doing a lot of basic stuff. Uh, but I mean, at some point you might not ever have an app with this much stuff. So that's not really the point. The point here is it's the exact same thing. It's the same Django app with the admin or the built-in app as it is with what we're doing. That's pretty cool. So you can actually see the templates and you could edit them here, but you don't need to. In fact, what you would do is if you want to override any of your built-in templates or any of the app templates, if you wanna override something like this, 
you would then just put them in your file system ones. You would put them in here with the exact same path. So um, let's go ahead and change the view back to being the actual proper one. So it's products, right? Product detail. That's the end all be all that we want. So we see that it says in app template. Now, if I wanted to override this template or any templates for any of these apps, I would come into my template folder, that main directory that I created, and I would rename or add the same path that I had before. So I'm gonna rename this to product detail. Okay, so now it completely changed that. I refresh in here and there we go. So it's actually showing me the OG template, right? And that's how you'd go about doing this. But do keep in mind that when you're working on your own solo app or you have a team, chances are really good that you're gonna wanna keep it inside of this itself. So I'm actually gonna completely delete this folder. I don't actually want you to get confused about it. That's why it's gone. But I just wanted to illustrate the purpose of how all of that would work with your templates and how you would load them. And I think it's critical to see it inside of an app versus in any other form because really everything about this product app at this point is inside of this with the one exception of the URL of actually bringing it into the Django project itself. But that's not any different for any of our apps, including the built-in one like the admin app. If I got rid of this, that app is no longer accessible to Django. I mean, it's still working, but it's no longer accessible to our main project. So that means that it's a very reusable app. And that's the theme here. We wanna keep that up. So we have a lot more to discuss. Make sure you subscribe to get everything because we'll be doing so much in Django that you'll become a master after watching the series. Or that's the goal is to become as good as you possibly can. So thanks so much for watching. See you next time.